Welcome back to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in the digital infrastructure space, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Shelly Domat. She is from EchoSense, Echosense and yes. EchoSense is a leader in AI-powered thermal risk mitigation, ESG reporting. Shelly, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. It's a pleasure uh, to have you. And let's just kick it right off with you just joined uh, the company here not so long ago. What enticed you to join such an amazing team? Great question. I actually learned about EchoSense through a former colleague, Steve Lewis, who is our vice president of sales in America uh, at EchoSense. And I guess what enticed me is being able to work for a company that, um, you know, is helping the environment. We're reducing uh, cooling energy costs. We're reducing carbon. Uh, the company contributes to that. So I'm proud to be part of that company. Also, I've been very impressed with how quickly uh, our company brings value to our customers by increasing operational awareness through our visualizations. Right. Um, and also through the optimization suggestions that we have using our advanced analytics, AI, and thermal optimization. It's such a critical, important uh, tool yes. for a lot of the data centers uh, here today at ITW yes, yes. and globally. Globally as well. Absolutely. And I'm sure you've been talking to a lot of them here uh, and some of your friends in the industry about joining uh, EchoSense and mm -hmm. all that... Uh, it has to offer. What feedback are you hearing? Oh, you know, I'm actually, company? yeah, great question. I am getting so much good feedback. Uh, the first thing I'm hearing is that our cooling, our solution is cooling agnostic, which means it works with all different types of cooling options. Uh, the other thing we do is we also utilize the technologies that are already in place. So our, um, award-winning data center optimization tool, EchoSoft. It actually works with your DCM, your uh, CFD, your BMS, uh, your EPMS, and we basically bring awareness to your environment with uh, creating a digital twin so you can see what's going on at all times. I mean, that's just such an important tool, especially the fact that it integrates with some of these existing, mm -hmm. you know, DSMs and other they can save uh, some money platforms. Yeah, to save some money for sure, uh, but most importantly, to save the environment, right? To save the environment and gain visibility into their data center, right? So we know that uh, your company is constantly evolving, releasing new features mm -hmm. within that solution, obviously to stay up to date uh, with all the impacts of AI and everything else that's happening in the industry. Can you share the latest? Oh, absolutely. We're excited. We are uh, introducing and releasing EchoSim. It is our full day end-to-end uh, -end data infrastructure modeling and simulation tool. Whew, that's a mouthful. That was. You <laughs> yeah. made it. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, what it does is EchoSim creates models, uh, different types of models uh, that you can use at your data center. Uh, basically, so you can use, um, I'm trying to think of different ways, like different um, opportunities to create models or what if scenarios okay. is, is what I guess I'm trying to say. What if scenarios like a failover? So you can kind of test it before it becomes reality. So it sounds like it's constantly evolving and learning yes, yes. on how to actually yes. react when and if a situation yes. does occur. So, for example, data center operators, they could run a simulation okay. of a failover. It will also help them streamline their workloads. So, I, you know, more to come. More I'm to still come. learning. I'm new. So Yeah, and it's called EchoSim. Sim, okay, yes. So we have EchoSim and Echo Echo Soft. Soft. Yeah. From Echo Sense. And when will that be released? <laughs> I believe in July is what okay, I, so when it's going to real soon. Real soon. We've actually had it in beta for about a year now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the customers that are using it really like the tool. And I don't believe there's anything like it anywhere else on the market. It sounds uh, definitely mm -hmm. like something I've never heard about before. And I'm sure many of our viewers yes. uh, tuning in, listening, yes. uh, are getting more information from you about that solution. So I heard that EchoSense solutions are AI machine learning powered, which you mm -hmm. were just describing. And we're certainly talking 
a lot about a AI. A lot about AI. Here at, a, at ITW, here every day in our lives, uh, across this industry. How is the AI component empowering your customers? Uh, we kind of look at it twofold. Uh -huh. So first, uh, Echosense AI empowers customers, but then our platform empowers data center operators to manage the AI workloads. I know that's kind of seems a little strange, but it that's how it works. Um, and as you know, this week, everywhere you went, whether it's on the news or you're walking around and we're talking, AI, you're right, is everywhere. And it's only going to get louder and, uh, and it's going to be explosive, I think. And I think it's really going to change the way data center operators, you know, go to work every day. And I think... Really, the only way that data center operators are going to be able to manage this large workload is if they have the visibility into their data center. And I think if they could use a tool like ours, uh, where they can automate uh, their automation of their data center and be able to view what is going on in real time and then proactively uh, prevent any kind of uh, cooling issues that will happen, I think that's going to help them in the long run. I totally agree. So where can viewers go to learn more about, you know, the upcoming launch yes. of EchoSim? Yes, they can go to www.echosense.com or LinkedIn. Uh, it's EchoSense AI. EchoSenseAI.com. Yes. yes. Is there anything else you wanted to add to No, me, nothing else. Uh, ITW has been great this week. I met a lot of people and it's been working a uh, great meeting and working with the JSA team all week long. So thank you. Absolutely. It's our pleasure. Uh, thank you so much mm -hmm. for joining us today on another episode of JSA TV live here from ITW 2024. To our viewers tuning in, stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking.